so today I will be talking about Mindful.jl, a framework for intent-driven multi-domain networking. This is a package that uh, targets uh, communication networks. So first I will have to introduce some notions behind. So we'll talk about software-defined networking, intent-based networking, intent-directed acyclic graphs, IP optical networks, in order to later to uh, clearly introduce Mindful.jl. So given that we have a communication network, a software-defined networking paradigm, or SDN, actually decouples the control plane from the data plane. And what this essentially means is that it actually centralizes all the control in a specific entity we call SDN controller, which has a global knowledge over the network and can make uh, network-wide decisions. I, sense, I, I like to think of it like us uh, introducing programmability to, into networking. Um, then on top of that, we can talk about intent-based networking, IBN, which establishes a higher layer abstraction layer uh, between the, which is positioned between the network operator and the network infrastructure. And in this case, the IBM framework would uh, receive high level requests or intents as input, and the IBM framework will uh, compile uh, concrete solutions. So here I have uh, an example of that. Um, so given that we have this uh, simplistic uh, network and uh, a connectivity intent comes in that uh, uh, with the desire to connect node A to node F, this will go through the intent language engine and it will eventually land to the IBN framework where intent compilation will take place. Uh, compilation has nothing to do with language compilation as this conference might uh, know better. It's just about um, uh, taking uh, a high layer uh, intent and finding an implementation for that. And in this simplified uh, uh, scen scenario, example, it will, be, it will output this ACDF uh, path, uh, which will be forward to the STN controller, and there will uh, intent installation will take place, which the um, appropriate configurations will be forwarded into the, in the, the needing devices. Um, so what's happening during intent compilation, which is the most interesting uh, part, uh, this we can represent using an intent directed acyclic graph. So as you see here on the right, the, the root node will be the user intent. In our previous example, it will be the connectivity intent, which will be gradually compiled to less and less abstract intents until we, leave to the, uh, until we reach the leaf nodes which are actually strictly defined hardware resource allocations. And this representation brings several uh, benefits. Aside from a more structured and comprehensive formulation, uh, we are also able to represent any intent compilation algorithm. And uh, we also, it also enables advanced multi-domain operation uh, for reasons that you can find in the papers below and I don't have time now to explain. Um, when I talk about multi-domain networking, what I mean is administratively separate interconnected uh, networks, uh, where essentially, as you see on the figure, its domain will belong to a different uh, organization, and essentially to have interoperability, it, everybody will need to work in a decentralized fashion, even though internally the domains could work centrally with the SDN, software-defined networking paradigm. Uh, the last slide of the theory part is about IP optical networks, which um, are networks that operate using both electronics and optics technology, and they are often represented as uh, multi-layer graphs. Um, so here I visualize one where the um, lower layer is the fiber layer, so the optical uh, fiber layer, and the higher layer is the um, IP layer and a specific node will be composed by, from the IP router and then optical switch. Okay, so now I can move on introducing the, the package itself. Um, I will repeat the title, a framework for intent-driven multi-domain network coordination, and I hope that now this makes more sense to you. The problem is that in the IP optical network control research community, uh, the, the, they lack, they lack, um, we lack a common simulation tool. And it's, 
this is very troublesome for doing benchmarking and the reproducibility uh, for the several publications out there. So Mindful.jl is an umbrella project that can help to align future research in this field. And uh, you can think about it as a playground for researching network coordination and configuration algorithms. The ecosystem is as follows. So there is the Mindful.jl, which is the core package. And then there is uh, mindfulcompanion.jl, which is meant to be an algorithmic zoo, mindful maki for visualization, and uh, some current uh, work in progress efforts for a GUI uh, wrapper. Uh, now I will move on to the, the demo, where uh, we will see a toy example, um, where we will load a dummy multi-domain uh, topology into mindful.jl and we will issue a cross-domain connectivity intent. So first thing, we will have to um, load, to read a GraphML topology file. Uh, we do this with the following commands, um, a little bit simplified in this case. Um, and uh, the result will be, we'll have a nested graph type using the nested graphs.jl package. Um, and now this, uh, nested graph, we will translate it to the, to the mindful.jl, um, where uh, we plot it here on the left. So this is the whole uh, network, the multi-domain network, and uh, it's being composed by several subgraphs, and uh, each one of them corresponds to a specific domain, as you see here on, on the right, and um, Every domain, this is the IBM framework instance that needs to talk to the neighboring IBM framework instance uh, in order to have interoperability. So now we can uh, create the cross-domain connectivity intent. In this case, it's, uh, we, we, we first create the connectivity intent with this command, uh, which essentially says um, we create a connectivity intent between the source node and the target node and with a certain bandwidth of, for example, 50 gigs, uh, gigabytes per second. And um, then we will issue it to a specific uh, IBN. Here we see to the first one. Uh, then we will compile the intent. And lastly, we will install it. Uh, further, we can visualize it to see how exactly the realization of the intent looks like. And uh, here, the most important part of this uh, code block is the compilation algorithm, the intent compilation algorithm, which here we use the shortest available path, but uh, you can pass your own compilation method uh, for your own experimental uh, routing. Um, so further, you can also inspect the DAG that has been uh, generated uh, for, with your intent compilation algorithm for the specific intent. And this should ring the bells from this theoretical picture right here, uh, where the root intent is the connectivity intent we created, and the, um, all the leaf nodes will be resource allocations like fiber spectrum allocation or module, uh, uh, transmission module allocation or modulation and so on. Uh, then you can further use that for event-based simulation with your third-party library of choice. Here we use discrete events, and after setting a Poisson process for link uh, failure behavior, we can plot the intent state throughout the whole simulating time. As you see here on the on down, where uh, the intent is in failure state whenever the uh, link uh, of the specific uh, uh, intent is also at uh, failure state. So lastly, as a conclusion, Mindful.jl is a playground for researching uh, network coordination and configuration algorithms. It provides a simplified stateful representation of an IP optical network environment and facilitates event-based simulation and offers visualization. It also supports multi-domain and intent-based interpretation, which makes it appropriate for numerous uh, use cases. So if you are interested in that, have a try at it and reach out for any discussions. Uh, some remarks I want to make is that I consider the Turing version to be an alpha release. Um, so um, 
Yeah, so it's an alpha release, but uh, we have, uh, so what I want with this presentation is actually to get the word out there, see if we can trigger any interesting discussions. And um, we have already plans for further uh, progress and maintenance, and we hope that in the future we will be able to present a fully mature Mindful.gl ecosystem. Right, thank you. Thanks.